good morning I am waking up I am back from rafting and I recorded some stuff just a little bit but I'll be on a separate video uh, do you hear the woodpecker I got Woody the woodpecker out there making a ton of noise this morning um, which is he's working on all my my dead aspen because my dead aspen have um, carpenter ants in them which I'm guessing is really bad to have carpenter ants on your property I don't know if I were to build and I'm gonna have to figure that out but at a later time not a big deal now um, let's see I got here um, yesterday um, kind of midday and I have been working so hard spreading all these wood chips everywhere my body is really sore but I still have some more to spread um, last night yesterday was actually it was pretty cold let me show you um, if I can show you what the temperature is here today um, I don't know, what is it, uh, like 48, somewhere around there? So, it was pretty cold. It's pretty cold last night, um, and it snowed. <laughs> um, you know, you never know what weather you're going to get here in Colorado. And uh, for those of you that don't know my channel, I am pretty high up in the mountains. I'm about 9,700 feet above sea level. So, um, that's pretty pretty high up. I don't know what time it is, um, but it's it's morning, and I am going to wake up. I'm going to spread a little bit more wood chips. I'm going to show you guys what I've done. You'd be amazed. I don't think I could count how many wheelbarrows I have filled. Um, my body is really sore, like my neck is and stuff, but I got a lot of stuff done, and I feel happy about it. Um, let's see. I have been here since Thursday. Well, been in the mountains since Thursday, and I will be going down late tonight um, to the city, and then working a bit, and then um, in a few days I come right back up here, and then I'm up here for 10 days straight, which I'm really excited about because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos for you guys. Um, I got some some backpacking videos coming your way. Um, so um, look forward to that. Um, we uh, I have my kids with me the whole 10 days. Um, and uh, so I am trying to get everything ready for them and some activities that we're going to do. So um, the kids like to be entertained. And uh, I entertain them a lot when I'm out, when they're up here. So uh, we got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on. We're actually even entering in an art contest in the Again, a uh, beautiful morning. I haven't quite like got all of my stuff out. I just kind of got here and just went to work on the wood chips. So, um, you know, my chairs are still out. Um, and uh, you can see some of the wood chips out there, right there. You can see some that I have in, in the back area. Um, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm going to get a lot of stuff done. Um, I'm going to wake up now. <laughs> It takes me a couple hours to wake up. I'm not a coffee person, so I wake up slowly. Um, so I'm going to wake up, and then um, I'll get with you guys, kind of show you what I did. Okay, I have woken up. I have been busy. It's uh, actually midday now. It's oh, it's noon um, right now, but I've been doing a lot of things, and uh, I want to check in with you guys because I always take you along with my journey of kind of the stuff that I'm doing and what's going on in my tent. Um, um, oh, first of all, look at this. I got a new shirt. I, I mentioned it also in my rafting video, but this is my new, uh, River Runners, um, shirt. It's nice. It's 100% polyester, long sleeve. Um, so hopefully the mosquitoes are awake today too. So I don't know how long it's going to last because I'm hot. It's about, let's see, when this morning it was 48 degrees and now, um, in the sun, I think it's 80 something. Um, in my tent right now, it's about 78, so it gives you an idea of, of the temperature. Um, okay, so some things I have going on right now. I'm still going to show you all the wood chips and kind of some stuff that I'm doing. It's going to be a work in progress. It's going to take a couple days um, to, to do all the wood chips, but I got most of them. 
there was four stacks of wood chips and now I only have one stack of wood chips with a little extra in some areas. So um, my kids are coming next week, I've mentioned. Um, I'm gonna save some of that project for them. So, uh, and the, the, the last mound of wood chips. Um, it, what are they? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, I got this. A wood chuck wood, ch what? Wood chip, wood chuck wood. If a wood chuck were to chuck wood. Oh, I forgot it already. So I am at the back of my tent right now and uh, where I store my water. Um, this side over here is to the west, kind of towards, towards that way is to the west. Um, I do get a lot of sunlight back here. Not that that matters, but it, it's going to matter because I'm going to tell you a project that I'm going to be working on too. Um, water. Um, I mentioned a lot of times, vibrate my camera. Um, a lot of times I mentioned my water um, and how the, the place where I got water last year, the water tasted great. But this year, the water is terrible. It has chlorine in it and it, it tastes like or is it is it chlorine? Yeah, I, I don't know. It just it tastes nasty. It ta it's just ta it tastes like chemicals. It's, it it ruins my food um, and everything. And I I put a note into them to find out what's going on with the well and and maybe they're trying to clean the well or something. But I don't know what's going on. But I can't stand the water, um, which really sucks because it's my only source of water until recently. So I had a new neighbor come by. Actually, he's been here since 2006 or 2007 or so. And he's like, hey, what are you doing over there? Yeah, everyone always wants to know what I'm doing because, I don't know, I guess it, I'm doing something really unique. People don't live in tents, you know. So he came over, super nice, just fun guy. If I can get a video of his property, I would because I, I end up going over to his property and checking it out. Um, he lives in an RV. Um, really big one of those huge huge RVs that has like a living room and a dining room and <laughs> two bed uh, two bathrooms and um, it's really nice really nice um, and uh, he's been here for a while so he or has already dug a well and he has offered to me now he's only like a two minute drive if that from my place um, I do have to drive to get water because there's no way I'm carrying all this um, and uh, he's got he's got a well, and he says, "Hey, anytime you need water, just go over there and get some water." I'm like, "Really, really?" <laughs> I'm so happy. I have clean, good water. I have another source. I don't know what it was. It was just the spirits have called and said she needs good water, and this neighbor comes walking down the driveway and says, "I have water, and you could use my water." And I was just, "Oh, you have no idea how thankful I was." So anyway, so I went over there yesterday and I learned how to work on it or how to um, work his, his um, water pump as, as well um, so I could get water. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I have clean water. So I just filled this up and he said I can go there anytime I want, but I don't want to be rude. You know what I mean? So I don't want to be like, hey, I'm coming over there again. I got 55 gallons to fill. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so right here behind me is my water container. Um, I do collect water from the rain. I guess it's illegal to do that. been told that a couple times, but it's going right back into the ground. You know, I'm just putting it in there and then I can give my dog some water. So you see his dog bolts are here. He's not here. That's the reason why they're tipped over. Um, and the, the bugs really like the water. So I realized that when he's not drinking water, it's better to pour it out um, because all the flies and all the, um, it, it attracts a lot of bugs having water. Um, so it really hasn't rained. And also, um, and you guys have mentioned that I should get some of that, is it cheesecloth? Um, well, I don't have cheesecloth at home. I actually, I did a while ago. I don't have it at home and I looked and I don't feel like going out and buying something. So, um, I'm going to have to figure something out because what's happening right now when it's raining, it, it's not going in because of the new towel that I have, um, or that I put on there, the red towel, which I don't know, maybe I'll show you. Do you see like a red towel right there? Um, the, the red towel is, um, is stopping the water so the water is coming out and it's going over the barrel and going over the sides and stuff and so i'm not able to collect that much water i can almost lift that right now because there's not a lot of water in there um 
I've been using a lot of water lately um, because I was like, oh, it's cool. I have my rain system set up. But it's, if it's not raining and if I'm not collecting water, I actually went through the water. Um, so I'm really, I'm really hoping for rain so that I can get some water. Now, again, I use this water over here for um, watering any plants. There's some, there's some trees that I have here that um, the girl's daddy gave me. And uh, I'm planting, I planted those, so I want to put some water on them. Um, so again, it's going right back into the soil. I'm just choosing the location it's going. And um, I also use it to wash dishes, which again, that water will again go right back into the soil. So as much as it's illegal to collect water from the rain, it's still going back in the soil. So I feel good about it. I'm like, I'm not selling the water. Anyways, so, um, so there's the water situation. Another thing that I'm going to be doing as well is I'm going to um, rig up this like a little shower. Um, I just bought a shower bag and I got a fire extinguisher and I got, um, I got a, a bag that you can hang up and uh, have a shower under it. Now I don't plan on taking like full showers, but sometimes like today when I'm like hauling all these wood chips everywhere, you just kind of get like a little sweaty and stuff and you just want to rinse off real fast instead of I have to drive and it would take me. I don't know, 15 minutes to get to the showers and then, you know, take a shower and then come back. Here, I could just do it right at my land and just rinse me off. I've been doing it from this uh, water jug here um, and kind of rinsing my body off, but it's been really kind of complicated to do that. Um, so I, I, I bought this shower thing. Now, I'll probably show you guys it later once I figure out how to use it, but it's coming right over here. So let me show you. On the other side of my tent. Let's see if I can turn it. You see how that, um, that bar is sticking out, um, right there, right there. So I'm going to hang the shower bag there. Um, and then I'm going to create like a little platform down here. You can see some of the wood chips down there. I have a stack of wood chips that I'm going to spread out too. So it just doesn't get really muddy as I'm taking a shower there. Um, but that's my thought. And, uh, just wanted to tell you guys that, that, uh, probably have a video on that. Um, I know I will be wearing a bathing suit or something. I'm sure. Um, don't worry. So, um, wanted to let you know that, um, I have that, that project going. I also have to, um, work on my, um, porta potty area. The porta potty is coming in two days. Yay. <laughs> Not too excited about that. I really wanted it in a different location, but you know, I just, it's all about time and I just don't have a lot of time right now and, or the skill or the tools. I don't have a tool to cut any lumber and stuff like that here. Um, and, uh, I don't have a, um, generator here right now. We have a generator, but it's not here. So it's just, it is what it is. And the porta potty is just going to be there and I'm just going to have to smell porta potty water and just deal with it. I don't know. Okay. So I want to show you guys my wood chips and kind of some ideas. Oh, and I want to build, I don't know if it's a garden. It's more like an herb garden, but I hope the deer don't eat this stuff because I'm sure they will, but I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of money on herbs, but a lot of times I can get them on sale really cheap. And so I want to show you where I'm going to put that. Um, it's just kind of nice when I'm cooking. I love to cook. Um, and all I've been cooking lately is just like noodles and anything that can be heated up with water. And uh, there's times where I'm like, I really actually really want to cook. I want to cook something good. Um, and so I think by having like a little herb garden or something like that would be kind of nice. Nice little addition here. Which also means I need water. <laughs> so I'm going to fix this. And I'm going to put in the old rag that I had last year that worked just fine. I'm going to put that over there. And then, um, and then I'm going to start working on my garden too. So... Okay, that was a lot of talking. I'm sorry, but I just had to get all that out. Um, let me show you my wood chips and what I've done. So how does that saying go? How much would a woodchuck wood how much would a woodchuck chuck wood if he could chuck how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if he could chuck wood? Yes? I don't know. I don't know how that saying goes, but there's a lot of wood chips here. <laughs> Lots of wood chips, which is great because I have, I got to get my after pictures for you. So I'll do that at the end of the video. I'll do some before and after pictures for you so you can see some of the projects that I've been working on. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's a lot of wood chips that I had here. So this is one of the stacks. Let's see if I stand up. 
Ooh, I'm just got a hole in my jeans. So if I stand up, I don't know. I guess it's, I guess it's waist level on this one. The other ones were a little bit bigger, I guess. I thought this one was the bigger one. Um, but uh, so <clears throat> the things that make me nervous about these, um, the reason why I'm doing this now, and I want to get this done right away. So the guy came out on Monday and ch and chucked this wood. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He chipped the wood. And and then um, I came out here on Thursday and started spreading it. And then I went rafting. And then I, I now I've come back. Today is Monday, so it's been a week. Um, if you keep the wood chips like this, this looks like a wonderful home for a little mouse. And the mice in this area carry a disease that could, that could kill you. So... Um, I want to make sure that th that disease does not um, come here. Now, I don't think there, there's a mouse looking for a home in this right now, but if I were to keep this like this for a long time, um, yeah, it's a perfect place for a mouse or a rodent or something like that that carries diseases. And there is so, that disease, again, like I said, is in the western states. It is here. And uh, the wood chipper guy um, ended up telling me, like, if um, a lot of my... Um, Oh, what do you call it? The, um, the oh, I forgot the word for it. We're all the like the debris on the ground. I started stacking it, is what I was doing, because I was like cleaning up my land. So I started stacking it. Well, by stacking the wood, um, you're making a nice little home for these mice. And so he even told me, he said, if you stack it a lot, a lot of people won't come to chip your wood. Um, or it's really just really dangerous because it could have those mice living in it. And so I learned something from that is that um, is slash, that's what it's called. So on my slash around my property, which is all the like random sticks and debris, you know, just, just tree debris in the ground, um, to not stack it and to just let it lay on the ground um, flat. And, um, and so that way it's, it's more safe for not creating homes for, um, for the little mice. So, um, I learned something that was a good, that was a good lesson. So let me show you what it is that I've done and, uh, you can kind of see, um, what I've done with my trail system. It's pretty nice. Okay. I'm going to start you off in the, in the trail area. Then we'll go to the main areas, uh, which is over by the tent and my kitchen area and stuff. Um, this over here is my fire pit area. If you notice, there is no wood chips over there. Um, there's a reason for that. I'm sure you can guess what the reason is why I don't put wood chips around my fire area. <laughs> so uh, I'm leaving that area open. In fact, I might, I've been looking at other people's properties and, and, you know, meeting more and more neighbors and they are much more secure on their fire than I am. So um, I actually feel a little bit bad because I just have that metal tin underneath my, my fire pit and then I have um, rocks around it. They have like... 10 to 20 feet of rocks around their fire pit <clears throat> that they all just they have chairs and stuff that they sit on um, where if you look at mine it is just um, well it's it's just dirt around mine um, I don't have a lot of um, tree branches and stuff around it but I don't have rocks on the ground where everyone else is having rocks so I'm feeling that maybe I need to step up my fire pit a little bit but I just spent all this money in wood chipping so I can't go out and buy rocks right now and there's a fire brand, so no, no rush, no rush at all. Okay, so back out on the trail. So what I decided to do, um, as we're walking on the trail in the past, and I'm not sure, it's really obvious during the day, um, because it looks like a yellow brick road. I mean, maybe you can kind of see it. You see how dark it is there, but um, it is really bright in person, to be honest with you. Um, it will eventually turn gray, and it won't look so pretty. Um, however, it does attract... Um, it does attract, uh, you know, people are starting to look on my property and stuff because they're, they're slowing their car down because they see all of this. Um, okay, so this was probably about one pile. I think one pile created all the, this, this trail. Um, this is Kyla's area over here. I'm going to have her do some wood chips over here. Um, in the back there is, is a camping area for a tent. And uh, I'm not going to put wood chips down on the tent areas just because I don't want to puncture any holes in the tent. Um, here um, goes up to another trail, but I haven't, I haven't um, gone all the way up. And I don't, I don't think I will, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, so I have all my trails down here um, done. 
and it's nice I mean truly I can see a huge difference just with my feet my feet aren't so dirty anymore uh, there's another camp camping spot for my class um, so to give you an idea of how many wheelbarrows now I filled my wheelbarrow and um, it took about well let's just let's just put it this way every six to eight feet I have one wheelbarrow so you can just assume how many wheelbarrows it took for me to load to get all of this trail system here i mean it was just a lot of wheelbarrows i am very sore this morning um, there's uh, pookie's corner which is uh, madison's area um, so i do have a lot of a lot of wood chips on the on the trail which is which is good is nice but you find your feet rolling a little bit so you kind of slip and slide a little but after a lot of wear and tear um, I'm sure it will just break down and uh, and then probably by that time I'll need to do more wood chipping anyways um, and then it continues it continues up that way for that trail um, there's a trail sign right there and then there's the the last campground that I have here so here's a kind of an area that has slash in it um, this is not as big and we're talking like it would uh I had other areas that were up to here um, which is I don't know if you can kind of tell probably up to my waist of just all these sticks and debris um, that is what I've learned is a big no-no and to not do that because of the mice okay let's work our way up towards my kitchen area Still kind of a work in progress, but you see I have a lot of wood chips here. This is our most popular area um, that we hang out in. You can I, see I need some more right in this area. Um, I probably have put just in this kitchen area probably about um, four to five, probably five, probably five wheelbarrows right here, and then um, about two there give you kind of an idea and uh, I'm climbing up a hill <laughs> it's been a lot of work it's been a lot of work so I have a table tipped over right now but that's just because I was spreading some wood chips and stuff I made that table I have a video on that table um, I built it for free and uh, dumpster diving and grabbing parts and looking at what I have in the land so there's my rake and I have all the area around here, again, a really big popular area um, around my, my tent area. And so I have it towards the back, too. Um, this took multiple, multiple um, wheelbarrows to, to get it up here. Again, I had four stacks of wood chips. Um, this is the area that, that Rocky likes to, to lay down. So I'm going to have Rocky lay down here. I got a a leash for them over there in case visitors come. I do not have the crate this year because of all the comments I got. Um, if he can't be with me, then he'll be at a doggy daycare. So, and then I have this whole area over here too with wood chips. And I kind of stopped over here, um, depending on, I just didn't know if I'm gonna have enough to do all the areas so I kind of stopped and I got tired too. Um, but I will have again, I, now I'm back to where I started this morning talking to you, but um, I'm going to have a, a shower thing going on there, um, giving enough gravity so that way it just comes out and I can just stand there, which will be nice, very nice to be able to clean up. Um, I can tell a huge difference just in, um, just in, just in, just a couple days. I mean, my feet... My feet are not, I mean, my feet get like black, like dirty, dirty black, you know? And so um, I'm really happy with the wood chip idea. And it would have taken like a couple weekends to do it on my own. Um, so I'm happy that it's mostly done. And uh, all I gotta do is, I, all I have to do now is just spread it.
Don't I, don't I look a little crooked? Well, that shows that my land is slanted. Um, I'm standing upright, but if I were to do this, <laughs> let me let me move the camera here so I can talk to you and you don't have to turn your head to the side. There we go. So my land is at a, a pretty good slant, maybe about like that. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna build a little garden area or attempt to start one. Um, I can't put any plants in there until it rains. So I need it to rain first so that way I can have water here. Just providing water for myself and my kids and my dog, um, you know, without having my full rain barrel, um, you know, I gotta haul it all in. So, um, and I, again, like I said, I have that neighbor, but I just don't wanna overdo my welcome on that, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, I could use the chlorinated water or whatever um, too. So if I need to, I can go drive and go get water, but, um, Anyway, so this is my plan, and this is kind of like a last minute plan, and I was just thinking, I was like, I like to cook, and I want to put something out here. So, um, you'll see that I have this this lumber that I I found it on my property. I know you can't see me. Um, I found it on my property. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get the shovel and try to level it out a little bit over here, because it is at a pretty good slant. Um, so I'm going to try to level it out and create this little, little tiny garden, just little, because I got a feeling this, the, the deer are going to eat it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying it out. We're just going to see what's going to happen. Um, the stuff I think I can plant there could possibly be tomatoes, maybe tomatoes. I don't know. I think the squirrels will for sure get the tomatoes. Um, yeah, I put shorts on. That was too hot. And um, let's see, some tomatoes. I want basil. I want a lot of basil. I might put some mint there because mint will come year round. Um, and I really like mint in my tea, little mint leaves. Again, I don't know what the animals are going to eat, but I just, I might just go see what's on sale at the store. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start working on this. I'm not going to film a lot of it. I'm just going to show you kind of what happens afterwards because this video is probably going to be pretty long anyways so um i'll just show you what happens afterwards but again all i plan on doing is just leveling it out then i'm gonna um i'm gonna probably lay some wood chips in there but um I'll, I'll show you what it looks like once i level it out and get everything all situated so it looks even it's a lot of work in this hot colorado sun i'll tell you but uh, this is the garden I have right now and I was thinking I could put strawberries in it. I have a whole bunch of like just random strawberries all over my yard at home. It wouldn't cost me anything. I can dig them up and then bring them over here and see if they last. Again, this is just kind of a trial, see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to go get some wood chips and I'm going to kind of spread it around. I got a path that I can get to from the kitchen into here and a path that I could um, get to the water from, from this side as well. Um, I'm going to cover it with wood chips now because this is my theory is that if it were to rain while I'm gone, I'm not, I'm not planting any plants in there yet because I don't have any. Um, while I'm gone, if it's raining, it's going to keep this soil really nice and moist. And this is all topsoil. This is really good dirt that I have here. So um, if I put the wood chips over it, it will keep the underneath still damp by the time I put the, the plants in. That's my theory, so we'll see. Hopefully it actually rains um, in the next, let's see, I think I'll be back here in like three to four days, something like that. So I'm hoping it rains during that time so it gets nice and moist over here. Okay, I think I'm done with my small little garden project for now. Um, you can see that I put the wood chips around it so um, you can walk directly to the kitchen and um, kind of around as well. Um, I kind of put a bunch of wood chips kind of around the garden area so that way when I'm walking, I'm not walking just on mud. Again, um, you know, I could put a little plastic tarp over top of it you know a clear plastic tarp to maybe keep some of the moisture in too i don't know we're this is just an experiment 
I don't think legally I can have a garden up here, like a full garden. I think that um, I'm not supposed to, um, I'm not supposed to water any outside plants. I think that's one of the rules in my county, um, which really sucks because basically all the water that's from the mountains goes right down to the city and they want all the water to go down to the city and not stay in the mountains. And this is my personal opinion, but water all the medians, you know, like when I see grass in the median of a, of a street, it, it drives me nuts because it's like you can't use any water in the mountains. So that way we have a lot of water in, in uh, the city like Denver and uh, we water all those areas, but we can't water up here. Okay, so, oh well, there's my rant for a little bit, but there's my garden for now. Um, it's a short distance to the tent. It's between the tent and the kitchen. Uh, so there's the garden right there, and then there's the tent. I'm not too worried about the animals. I'm really not. So I'm going to sit down for a little bit and rest, because I promised myself I would do more resting and less work. That didn't work out so well. <laughs> so I just drenched myself in water because it's so hot right now. So I'm going to sit down and enjoy and then I'm going to finish the, the porta potty area and uh, be done for the day and then maybe just sit if I can actually do that. <laughs> okay, so porta potty area. Same area as last year. I built this this wall around it um, last year just kind of to, I don't know, kind of hide it a little bit. Um, and uh, this year, it looks like it still needs a little bit more love. But let me show you kind of a close up here of the wall that I built. Kind of more of a bushcraft type design. I just kind of tied them up at the top there. Um, and uh, I actually shoved in a bunch of uh, branches. But um, since then, it has uh, the branches have died, and you can see I have a bunch of dead branches here. Um, but those leaves that were there um, really hid it. So um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a porta potty, you know, and it is what it is. You could tell. You could tell with my facial expression that this is not something I'm very excited about. Um, but legally, um, in case you haven't seen my other videos, legally I have to have a way to manage my human waste. And this is the way that I'm managing my human waste. Um, I do have a lot of people coming here. Um, and, you know, for everyone coming here and carrying around a shovel, that's a lot of holes on my little two acres. So, uh, we need somewhere to manage this. And they're going to be cleaning it every other week. So, um... So it'll be okay. It'll be okay. So I made it as obvious as I possibly could. <laughs> I even put a sign, Porta Potty here. You see that? <laughs> because I could totally picture that th that the Porta Potty guy is going to get here and he's going to put it right in the middle of the driveway. <laughs> you know, so I wanted to make it as obvious as possible to um for the the porta potty guy to know where to put it, I think that would be that's where it was last year. But I don't know if it's going to be the same guy or not that that comes out here. So hopefully they put it in that spot, and hopefully they come because my experience with this company, they're not always reliable when you they say they're coming. So I will be calling them that morning and be like, "You need to come. We're going to be here for ten days." So and there's going to be. Um, myself and my two daughters and I think Todd's coming for for one of those days it is time for me to go back to the city you know I gotta work this girl's got to make money <laughs> so um, I have to get going um, I'm gonna be packing up my tent here soon and uh, just want to thank you guys for watching if you've made it all the way through this video I truly appreciate it um, I have a lot of videos coming up I'm at peak season for me right now so it's sometimes it's two to three videos a week so I hope you guys enjoy and I do try to put in the title um, what it is that I'll be talking about um, and uh, I don't do clickbait at all, so at least I don't think I do. Um, so if it's something that you're interested in, you know, click on it and watch it. Um, I do have some backpacking videos coming up and some hiking videos and, st and such. And again, I try to get out in the kayak. It's a lot harder to film when I'm in my kayak, but um, I'm going to try to get a kayak video for you guys as well. So um, 
thanks again for watching and i will see you guys on the next video bye bye